I have since decluttered that because I found out it was uh, very expired and a bit stinky. <laughs> 21 lip glosses in 2021. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Oh my goodness, I am just in love with my eye look today. Can we zoom you in? Of course, we're gonna zoom you in. So if you missed my last video trying Odin's Eye Cosmetics for the first time, this is the warm side of the palette. I know I only used the cool tone side of the palette in that video, but today, you know, I had to give you some bright summery tones. Do you see? Do you see what I did with this eyeliner today? I'm just gonna pat myself on the back here for a second because I got a little ombre pastel liner going on. We got some glitter on the eyes. I finally tried the pressed glitter in the Alva 2 palette and it's amazing. I'm so, so impressed. It's so, so sparkly and shifty and wonderful. Do you see that shift? I can't believe it. I'm simply in love and I'm just so happy with the way it turned out. And I got my little cherry earrings on from Shop Kike today. So you know it's gonna be a good video, but that's not what this video is about. Well, you did not click on this video to find out how I just cannot stop looking at the shift on this eye look. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in my mid-year makeup inventory. Oh my good gosh, I literally cannot believe I am already doing my mid-year inventory. It feels like I just filmed my beginning of the year makeup inventory like last week, but I didn't. I filmed it at the end of December 2020. Imagine how different you are right now from December 2020 to June 2020. 2021. Mm, a couple things have changed, just a couple things have changed, but aside from the world itself changing, my makeup collection has also changed quite a bit. I have a feeling I'm going to be absolutely horrified at how my total number of makeup products has changed. I already went ahead and separated things into categories. I don't know if you can see that whole mess back there. I haven't counted it all up yet, but I can tell it's, it's I'm, I'm willing to bet a lot of money that it's gonna be a lot more than last time, even though I was supposed to be on a makeup low buy for 2021. But you know what? There's a lot of reasons that my makeup collection has expanded and, and shrunk a little bit in some other areas, but we'll get into all of that right now. So if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you wanna hear my updated mid-year makeup inventory for 2021, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching. Coming at your rate now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be doing this mid-year inventory. As soon as I did my beginning of the year inventory, I was like, ah, oh, this is gonna be so fun to go back in June and compare each category from January to June and see how it changed. Although I have a feeling I'm not gonna be laughing at a lot of these because the numbers are going way up. But with my first category, we're starting off on a positive note, and that is my primer category. In January of 2021, I had but one primer. I had the e.l.f. Original Putty Primer, and in June of 2021, I also only have one primer. And it's the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. It's got to be a good primer if I only feel the need to have one, and I do with this e.l.f. Putty Primer. I love the formula so much, and I'm still happy to have it as my only primer. So as for my primer category, there has been no change, and there is still just one. Alrighty, now moving on to my foundations category. Now, in January of 2021, I had four foundations, which I felt like was pretty good. You know, that's not a lot of foundations. That's still probably more than the average person would want to have on hand at once, but not that bad. But we've made some good progress, everybody. I used up and decluttered two of those and only got one more foundation, so now I have three foundations. I still have the Rare Beauty one, which I'm like, I might just declutter. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this. I keep saying I'm gonna use this and I don't. Still have the Milk Flex Stick foundation, but I did bring it into my Project Pan, so hopefully that goes away soon. And then I brought the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer into my collection, which I'm freaking thrilled about wearing it today. Look at how luminous I am. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So my foundation collection went from a four to a three, and I'm hoping by the end of the year, I'll either have the same number or less of these. And I forgot to say it for the primer. I feel like for the primer, I might try another one, but I probably won't have more than two. Hopefully those aren't my famous last words, but hopefully I won't have more than two primers, and hopefully I won't have more than three or four foundations. Alrighty, now we are moving on to my concealer category. In January of 2021, I had two concealers, and in June of 2021, I have the same two concealers. If there's one thing, I got I'll really give myself pat on the back. I know it seems like I pat myself on the back a lot. You know what? Self-confidence. We love it. But if there's one thing I'm good at, it's sticking to a couple concealers, just using them until they're gone. Because you know what? Let's see a shot of what my NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette looked like in January. You know, lightly used. I think I had one shade that was completely gone. But look at it now. I have committed to using this concealer palette. I use it every single day. I still love it a ton. I want to use it until it's completely gone because I'm going to repurpose this container and there's so many good things I can do to repurpose this. 
oh, I'm so excited for it. But I've been really committed to using this. It's in my project pan. So still chugging away on the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette. And I'm still chugging away on my NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer Stick. I definitely don't use this as much, but it is a good option to have. I like to have a pencil option every once in a while. But yeah, for now, I still only have two concealers, just like I did in January. And I think I might have one more by the end of the year. I don't know. Once I find a good concealer formula, I kind of just stick with it. But you never know. I don't foresee this category expanding a lot, but if it does, I would say probably buy no more than like one or two more. Alrighty, now my next category is powders. So in January of 2021, I had but one setting powder. I had the Ciate Extraordinary Setting Powder, which I believe I said in that video, I like didn't even really like. I just didn't really know where to go with setting powders. And I'm happy to report that I decluttered that powder. We don't need her negativity in our life anymore. She wasn't that bad. I just, you know, she wasn't really doing anything for me. But now I have two setting powders and I love them both so much. I have the Midas Zero Flaws setting powder, which is like so much better and actually offers coverage and doesn't take away coverage like the Ciate one did. So really happy with this. And then I also have a Color Science, which has such a long name, Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Brush on Shield SPF Broad Spectrum. PA++50. It's a zinc oxide sunscreen. It's really, really cool. I love it so much. It was sent to me by Look Fantastic for a video I did with them a month ago for Skin Cancer Awareness Month. So really passionate about this product and about that video. That was really great. But I really love both of these setting powders and I really don't foresee my collection expanding anymore. Powder is kind of just one of those steps that I do to do. This one's been a little more fun because I'm like, it's been great to touch up my makeup with throughout the day and know that I'm applying more SPF. I don't know. Maybe I'll look for more SPF powders. That's really the only thing I could see myself getting more into this year. But I have a feeling that my powder category is probably just gonna stay at two for the rest of the year. But I'm really happy that I only expanded this category by one. Alrighty, moving on to my next category, which is bronzers. So you'll probably notice for the beginning portion of this makeup inventory update, it's gonna seem like I'm doing really, really well. And I want you to just hold on to that feeling and hold on to that respect you have for me right now because it's all going downhill in the next category. But for bronzers, at the beginning of 2021, I had four bronzers and I now have three bronzers. Ugh, progress. So I still have the same two Milani baked bronzer in the shade Glow, still loving it. The lip bar bronzer, I keep forgetting I have, but I do still like it. And I still have the bronzer in the Midas Dawn face palette. I will admit the only one I really use is this Milani one, but I love the face palette for other things. And I love the blush in the lip bar one. So I'm going to keep all of them. I don't foresee myself decluttering any of them anytime soon, but maybe I'll expand my bronzer collection. I don't know. I just kind of like what I have right now. I am on the lookout for a cream bronzer. If you'll remember, I had the milk cream bronzer in my last makeup inventory update in January, and I have since decluttered that because I found out it was uh, very expired and a bit stinky, <laughs> so I did declutter that, and it wasn't really my favorite thing anyway. So if you have any cream bronzer recs, I would love to hear them. Please let me know in the comments down below, but for now, I am very happy with my three bronzers, and maybe by the end of the year, I'll have four. Who knows? All right, kids, I'm going to need you to do me a favor and uh, buckle your seat belts and hold on to your hats because we're moving on to my blush category. Yeah, um, so I have a lot more blushes than I had at the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, I had 13 total blushes. Was that it? No, 15. I had 15 blushes total at the beginning of the year. I did completely finish one of them. Yay. Oh my gosh. Yes. Wow. So impressive. It's tough to finish a blush. It's tough out here. I finished my CoverGirl True Blend Baked Blush in the shade Molten Rose. It was in my project pan. And last month, I finished it. She's out of here and I'm so so excited about it but I did not follow the one in one out rule I followed the one out like six in rule so yeah let's let's count these up I haven't even counted them up yet yeah so here's my blush <laughs> okay so I have one two three four cream blushes two milk lip and cheek sticks and then I have my two honest beauty cream blushes and then I have one liquid blush from rare beauty here so that's five so far <laughs> okay and then for powders, I have two Milani baked blushes. I have a MAC Glow Play blush, which I got from TJ Maxx. Such a good deal. Love that. And then I recently was sent a blush from Odin's Eye Cosmetics. It's their Alva Flower Blusher, which I really, really like. I just got, but I'm enjoying it so far. And then I bought myself the Alamar Colorette Trio in medium tan because it was a makeup product that gave me FOMO. I mentioned it in a makeup that gives me FOMO video and all of you guys were like, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. And I was like, oh, okay. It didn't really take much convincing. I was like, okay, I'll buy it. So there's 
three more there. I'm gonna, I count things in palettes as the amount of blushes they are. And then I have my Jouer Bouquet d'Amour palette, which I have six in. And then I have my Midas Cosmetics Dawn Face palette, which includes one. So doing some math here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 17, 18, 19 blushes. Oh boy. It's honestly less than I thought. I thought it was going to be a little more. 19 blushes is less than I thought. But um, yeah, I did finish one and declutter one. So mm, hopefully we can keep it under 20 before the end of the year because I don't know. I'm just such a lover of blush, you guys. I'm trying to finish more actively. I promise I really am. I have this Honest Beauty Cream Blush in my Project Pan. You can see she's very well used. She's very well loved. I just, I love blush. I love wearing multiple blushes at once. Today I'm wearing my Honest Beauty Cream Blush and my Milani Baked Blush at the same time because I love a cream and powder combo with blush. And I would sit here and say, oh, I definitely don't need to buy any more blushes for the end of the year. I'm gonna be really good about it. But I know myself and I know a blush is gonna come out that's just gonna tickle my funny bone. Does that make sense? It's going to tickle my heart and I'm gonna really wanna buy it. And if it's on a, if it's on a sale, you know, because that's the thing, all of the blushes I have brought into my collection since you and I last chatted about makeup inventory, this, I got three blushes for $25. I feel like that's pretty good. And then I got the MAC one on sale for $12. It's normally like $30. And then I got this Milk Lip and Cheek Stick for $8.99 at TJ Maxx. It's normally like $30. So I've gotten some really good deals on blushes. And this one from Odin's Eye was very kindly given to me. You'll, I have started receiving some more PR since our last makeup inventory update, which I'm so, so grateful for. Oh my gosh, it's so incredible, especially when it's indie brands. It's just so cool and I love it so much and I'm so, so grateful. But um, yeah, the, my collection has expanded because of that and I've also bought things. Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. It's definitely gonna expand by the end of the year, but for now I have 19 blushes. Alrighty, now that we're done with my very expensive blush category, we can move on to my highlighter category, which I'm so, so thrilled to say has remained exactly the same as it was in January. I started the year with six highlighters and I'm rounding out the middle of the year with six highlighters. Although I did declutter one and bring one into my collection, I ended up decluttering that e.l.f. liquid highlighter that I talked about, trying to find a dupe for something. It ended up just being a little too greasy on my skin, not in like a nice dewy way. So I ended up decluttering that and I brought into my collection the Odin's Eye Cosmetics Norns Mesmerizer Highlighter. This was very kindly sent to me. Oh, you can barely see it, but it looks like a little dragon's egg and it's so, so beautiful. I'm so happy to have it here. I also brought the Auric Glow Lust into my collection. I must have decluttered a couple of highlights then. I don't even remember what the other one was that I decluttered, but I have my Auric Glow Lust now, which I love so much. I still have my Pixie Highlighter. I might need to declutter this just because I keep trying to make these shades work for me but in reality, they're just too deep on me and they always look like I have a shadow on my face even though it's the most beautiful glow in the world and it literally breaks my heart that it doesn't work on my face. Maybe I'll give this away to somebody but I don't think you'll see this by the end of the year. I still have my Fenty Kilowatt highlighter which like I said in that initial video, I don't use this as highlight. I just use it on my eyes because it's very pretty and sparkly. And then I still have my Charlotte Tilbury. I just use this every once in a while. I really want to finish it. I might bring it into my project pan just because I've used so much of it that I think it would be very satisfying to finish and I do like it just not as much as the glow lust and then I still have my milk holographic highlighter stick which I promise you you won't see by the end of the year I don't know why I keep putting off decluttering this this is such a lackluster highlighter for it saying it's holographic it's like you can't see anything it just blends into nothing so I'm definitely gonna declutter that soon I'll have to do a declutter soon subscribe so you don't miss my declutter coming at you real soon but uh yeah came into this year with six highlighters and I'm going through the middle of the year also with six highlighters. And I don't think the category will expand because I already know I'm gonna declutter at least like two or three of them. So I think I can keep that number at six, if not possibly a little lower. Alrighty, so real quick, we have my setting spray category. At the beginning of the year, I had but one setting spray and in the middle of the year, I have but one setting spray. I have the NYX Bear With Me setting spray, which I am moderately enjoying. I'm not sure I'm like gaga, for it, but I am enjoying it enough and I might expand my collection a little bit before the end of the year. I'm not sure. It's not quite as dewy as I want it to be, but I really only ever like to have one setting spray at a time because there's really only one finish I'm ever going for, and that is dewy, 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 and hydrated. So I don't think I'll have any more by the end of the year, but who knows, maybe like one more max.
I brought my eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> okay, so eyeshadow palettes are where things get a little out of hand, and I know what you're thinking. Things have already gotten out of hand, ma'am. You have 19 blushes, and I agree. But I have an obscene amount of eyeshadow palettes, so let's count them together, shall we? Oh, but first, I had 13 at the beginning of this year. 13 eyeshadow palettes was my starting number. That's not what I have anymore, though. <laughs> hair in my mouth. I know I've decluttered a couple though, so maybe maybe it won't be that overwhelming. Let's count together. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's not that bad. I know a lot of you probably won't think that's that bad because last time I got a lot of comments of people being like, I literally have a hundred eyeshadow palettes, but I personally, I'm just not a collector of things, you know, except for blush, clearly. But with eyeshadow palettes, I don't like to have a lot at a time because I tend to just stick to the same couple every day that I know work really well with the colors that I like. But uh, yeah, I have a lot right now. I definitely want to declutter some soon or pass along to friends because there are a couple in here that are just so new neutral. I never touch them and I keep thinking I'm going to, but then I don't. So hopefully by the end of the year, I will have less than this, but I will show you a quick shot real quick because I know you might be curious to see what eyeshadow palettes I have. If I were to sit here and say the name of every single eyeshadow palette, it would take a long time. But uh, yeah, I have quite a few right now and I love most of them. I love the formula of all of them. I don't have any bad formulas in my collection right now. I've decluttered all of the bad formulas, but uh, I do have some colors I don't use. So hopefully my 18 eyeshadow palettes number will go down a bit by the end of the year, but honestly, who knows? Already sticking with eyeshadow, but moving on to single eyeshadows. At the beginning of January 2021, I had eight single shadows. That was including both singles in like a little magnetic palette like I have here and some loose pigments and things. And I now have 16. So that number has doubled, but the number has doubled because I have a friend, Artie, who was really, really kind and they sent me a bunch of single shadows, which I now have in this beautiful palette. I'll link that video if you guys are interested. It's a bunch of JD Glow, it's a bunch of Menagerie, it's some Shine by SD. Really, really good formulas and I'm so, so happy to have them and I do actually use them, so I feel good about that. And then I still have my ColourPop Loose Pigments even though I hate using them because they're discontinued so I like don't ever wanna finish them. Then I still have my Tarte Chrome Paint, which I'm probably gonna declutter soon because I, I've never used this. When do I wear a bronze eyeshadow? You know, rarely ever, so maybe I'll give this away. And then Deck of Scarlet sent me some of their metal leaf shadows, so I have a few of those. And again, that brings my total up to 16. It might get bigger by the end of the year, who knows? I'm starting to get more into single shadows and less into palettes, and I have a bunch of multi-chromes on my wish list. Oh my god, drop your multi-chrome recommendations in the comments. I'm always looking for multi-chrome shade recommendations because I get too overwhelmed by choice. But yeah, I think that my single shadow collection will definitely be bigger by the end of the year, but hopefully that'll counteract my eyeshadow palette collection and it'll all sort of even out. But yeah, for now I have 16. All right, moving on to my next category, which aside from blush, I would say these are tied. Blush and water activated liner are definitely my two favorite makeup categories, which means that I have the most items in both of those categories. Oh boy, and lip gloss. Just wait till we get to lip gloss. But anyway, I do need to apologize for some bad math in my initial makeup inventory video. I was just counting my water activated liners and I was like, how is it possible that I have less than my initial number? That just doesn't make any sense because I've bought more and I haven't decluttered any. But in my initial video, I said I had 47 liners. Mm -mm, not the case. I had 31. I don't know how I did the math so wrong. This isn't my first math error on this channel and it probably won't be my last, but I'm gonna be better, I promise. So in January, I had 31 water activated liners and I now have 46. But honestly, I don't care because that is like one of my favorite categories along with blush and I do use them all the time. I'm wearing two of them today. I like to use different ones every day. I like to mix them together and and I did get a couple more since then, but you know what? It's a good collection. I'm happy with it. I'll show you a little overlay of all my water activated liners because like the last category, if I were to list them all out, we would be here forever. But you'll notice I got a palette from Midas Cosmetics, the Midas Bitch and Cake Liner palette, which I love. I also, if you see that Glisten palette, a review on that is coming real, real soon. I just got that the other day and it's taking all of me not to touch it, but I really want to film a first impressions with you guys. And I got an iridescent liner from Glisten too. Oh, I'm so excited excited for that. 
that. But uh, yeah, my collection is growing in water activated liners and I'm not gonna lie, it'll probably be bigger by the end of the year. Alrighty, so now we have a couple of miscellaneous categories before we get to the lips here. At the beginning of the year, I had one brow gel and I now have three. I don't have that e.l.f. fiber brow gel anymore. I just kind of decided I didn't like it so much anymore. My now go-to is my NYX brow glue, which I really, really love. And then I also came into two Honest Beauty brow gels that Honest Beauty was kind enough to send to me and I have been enjoying them. So I do have three total brow gels and I really don't foresee it getting any bigger unless somebody else sends it to me because I definitely don't like to have more than one at a time when I'm buying them myself. And then I also talked about brow pencils in that video. I only had one at the time. I had my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, which I still love. I don't have right now just because I have some other ones I'm going through. I have three now though. I have two from Honest Beauty. They were kind enough to send me and I do genuinely like. I just have two different colors I've been using. I have a soft black and a warm brunette and I like them both. And then I also have my Midas Cosmetics Crown Brows Pencil, which I also really like. So I don't want my brow collection to get any bigger than this. I definitely don't really use more than one at any given time. I just kind of go back and forth between what I'm in the mood with with these two formulas, but I definitely don't want or need any more. So hopefully this will stay at three or less. And then I also talked about my face stamps in my makeup inventory in January. I had five face stamps, two of which were from ColourPop and three of which were from the CVS Beauty brand Pop Arazzi. I decluttered those ColourPop ones and I now just have my three CVS ones, which are so much better. Oh my gosh. If you're thinking about getting the ColourPop face stamps, definitely skip it and just get the CVS ones. Obviously, you know, pending that you have a CVS where you live. If you don't, I'm so sorry because these are cheaper and so much better and they don't stain your face. So yeah, definitely don't plan on getting any more face stamps. I think I'm happy with these shapes. And then at the beginning of the year, I had one freckle pen and I still have the same ColourPop freckle pen. I gotta give it to them. This has lasted a very long time. I think I've had this for a year at this point, which is wild. I just store it upside down and all the ink goes to the top and then I can give myself little freckles again and it's great. So still happy with my one freckle pen. Might get more. I'm thinking about picking up the Lottie London one because some of you have recommended it, but I don't foresee myself having more than like two by the end of the year. Oh, I have one more miscellaneous category. I forgot to mention mascara at the beginning of the year. I had one mascara. I don't like to have more than one mascara at a time. I do have two right now just because Honest Beauty sent me a very kind PR package and they sent me their mascara, which I do love and have been loving. And then I recently picked up the Maybelline Sky High mascara. I could finally get my hands on it because it was sold out for so long because TikTok blew it up, but for a good reason because it's really, really nice. But I'm really happy with these two mascaras right now. I don't really ever want to have more than two mascaras at a time unless it's like a backup because they dry out so quick. So I don't anticipate that category getting any bigger. So I went from one to two. All right, we're now moving on to my last category, which is lips. So starting off on a, on a hot note, on a positive note, at the beginning of the year, I had three lip liners and I now only have two. I ended up decluttering that ColourPop BFF lip liner just because I realized after a while that it was like not really a good shade on me. Honestly, it was giving us very 2016 cool toned nude kind of vibes and I just really wasn't vibing with it anymore. So now I just have these two pinky red lip liners from Illamasqua that I honestly never use. So I really don't anticipate this category getting any bigger. I'm just not a lip liner girl. I don't know. Am I missing out on something? Do you guys know about really great lip liners? If you do, let me know because I'm definitely down to try them. But right now I'm just not really a lip liner girl. So I'm very happy with my two. Okay, now moving on to another category that I've done pretty well with and that is my liquid lipsticks. At the beginning of the year I just had my two liquid lipsticks from Colored Rain and I stand by the fact that Colored Rain makes the best liquid lipstick formula because it isn't drying but it's super pigmented and easy to apply and wonderful and comfortable and I just love them so much. But I've also brought one more into my collection and that was kindly gifted to me from Odin's Eye Cosmetics. It is their matte lip stain so I guess not quite a liquid lipstick but it is a liquid such an interesting smell. Oh my gosh, I wish I could point my finger on what this smell is. It drives me nuts, but really good smell. Happy to have it in my collection. Excited to keep trying it, but I feel good about my collection of liquid lipsticks only being at a three. I don't want it to be much more. Alrighty, now moving on to my lip balms. So this category is like a little weird. It's hard for me to distinguish what a lip balm is. I have a couple things that are called a lip balm, but then I also have some lip oils that I feel like fall more into the balm category than they do into the gloss category. So I had three at the beginning of the year. I now have five and that's not so bad. I can't remember which one I decluttered because I know that these three are new this year. My Deck of Scarlet three-way lip oils, which if you're not new to my channel, you know I scream about every second I can. I think they are so, so good 
that it's my favorite lip formula currently. And then I still have my ColourPop Just a Tint, which I don't wear a lot. It might end up getting decluttered, but it's a really pretty color. That's why I can never declutter it because it's such a pretty like brick red. Ugh, I love it so much. And then I still have my Milk Kush Balm in the shade Shine, which is such a pretty sparkly balm. Ugh, it smells like cereal. I love it so much. It smells like minty cereal kind of a weird smell, but honestly, I'm into it. My lip balm category went from a three to a five, and I don't foresee it getting too much bigger. Oh, I guess I included my Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in the lip balms, which makes sense because it's literally in the name, but it looks like it's in a bullet, which is why I forgot. So I have six lip balms, so I guess I technically have three more than last year. Moving on to my bullet lipsticks, at the beginning of the year, I had five, and in the middle of the year, I have five. I haven't bought any new bullet lipsticks because honestly, it's, I'm just, a gloss gal. I tend to wear more glosses and oils than anything, so I don't foresee this category getting too, too much bigger, although I have been raving lately about the Fenty Mademoiselle lipsticks and how I love them so much and how they're literally always on sale on both Sephora and the Fenty website, so I might go back and get some more of these because I really love it. But for now, we started at a five, and in the middle of the year, we're also at a five. Alrighty, and moving on to my last category of lip products, which is lip gloss. And you guys, I'm so proud of myself. I just counted them, and and I've gone down kind of a significant amount. And that was a big goal of mine for 2021 was to get through my lip glosses because I started 2021 with 21 lip glosses, 21 lip glosses in 2021. But I now have brought that number down to 16 lip glosses. Isn't that wild? I have finished a couple of them. I finished two of my Tower 28 mini lip glosses, which to be fair are very small. These are the two that I still have remaining. So yeah, I know they're tiny, but it's still important. Impressive. It's impressive whenever you finish a lip gloss, okay? It's very impressive. And then I also decluttered a few of them. I know I decluttered a ColourPop one. I can't remember the other ones that I decluttered, but I definitely decluttered a few of my lip glosses that I wasn't using and I, they were also expired. So that was an easy one for me. And yeah, 16 lip glosses is still an obscene amount of lip glosses, but I am really happy with the progress that I've made. And my goal is to continue to get that number down, you know, because I have so many lip products to use and I've been bringing more into my project pan. In fact, Fact, I'm currently almost done with this Pat McGrath lip gloss. You can see there's just a little bit left. I also recently brought this NYX Butter Gloss into my project pan, so I'm really trying to keep at least two lip glosses in my project at a time so I can really get through them. So hopefully by the end of the year, that number will be down from 16. I would love for it to be down or at least stay even, but you know what? No, we're gonna get that number down. Mark my words, this is me holding myself accountable to keep that number down. I will use this clip to shame myself in December if I don't get the number down. So yeah, I went from having 21 lip gloss to 16 lip glosses and oh my goodness is that wonderful. All right and with that we have reached the end of my makeup inventory. Much like my last makeup inventory I'm not gonna add them up right now because that's a lot of things to count all at once. But shall we reveal the total number of makeup products I have in my collection? For a reminder actually my number last year I had is 144 but like I told you guys I counted my water activated liners wrong so I guess the number wouldn't be 144 it would be 128. I had 128 items at the beginning of 2021, and I now have this many. Oh my goodness, wow, yikes, geez, Ooh, that's a big number. Um, yeah, so I've expanded my collection quite a bit this year, but like I said, I've been very fortunate to be receiving some more PR, which is awesome, because I can give you guys some good reviews, but um, it does mean my collection has gotten quite a bit larger. I'm gonna do a declutter soon, like I said, so definitely look out for a good declutter video. You know, I love an organization video, but yeah, I'll definitely try to get the number down by the end of the year, we'll see. I at least don't want it to get too too much bigger. I want to be better about doing my one in one out rule because I, that's a really good rule. I'm still considering myself to be on a makeup low buy. I do feel like I've done well for my makeup low buy. I'll probably film a mid-year update for that soon so I can give you more details on how I'm doing with that because like I said I've received some stuff in PR and I haven't bought that much for myself and the stuff I have bought has been like good for expanding my collection so be on the lookout for a low buy update real soon. But yeah that is it for my makeup inventory for the middle of 2021. I would love to know what you guys would like to see in my next makeup inventory. Is there something else I can do to make these videos even more exciting, even more glamorous? I would love to hear from you of what you want to see in a makeup inventory video. But yeah, be sure to check out my description box for all of the makeup on my face today in case you're curious. Also in my description box, I will have a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources, resources to support the Asian American community, and resources to support the LGBTQ plus community. So please click on those links if you haven't yet. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!
I hope they want to wear blush next time we do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs>